if we want to talk about some other things now, like obviously we've gone quite deep on that. I don't know if anyone saw this, but if you were following on Twitter where people like Ashley Kang were translating from Korean, obviously on the LCK broadcast, they've had all these guest commentators. They had Rookie, they had The Shy. They've had a whole bunch of these people come and do commentary, right? And I've mentioned this on a past episode, but like I am actually in love with The Shy's commentary because he is the most delusional <laughs> motherfucker it's so funny. ever to do. Le- like my dream after watching that Double Left Worlds video today is like, please God, someone just get these two men in a room and let these two fucking knuckleheads just break down everything in League of Legends. Like these are two people where it's like, you're not even sure that the words that come from their brains are the ones coming out their mouths. They're just saying stuff that's just nonsense. Like, I don't know if you know this. I don't know if you saw this at all, Jensen, but like The Shy's perception of himself Self is it's it's nuts. It's like someone slipped LSD in his drink before he starts talking. <laughs> he sees himself as a player who's amazing at playing weak side tanks and out of choice would just play on all the time. Like, dude, I don't even know what even like it's like he's talking, it's like he keeps accent. You know what? Sometimes you fuck up on shows and you say the wrong name or something. Like I said, like if I was talking about Bjergsen, but I said Jensen instead, because I was talking about the other mid laner, you know, and then it might confuse a fan, but if they looked at the context, they'd be like, Well, obviously he was talking about Bjergsen. They're like, it's like the shy's doing that about himself, but he thinks he's Gimgoon or something. It's like, what are you talking about? Like, dude, he he had the craziest opinions ever. And they're just consistent. Like, he's just like, he's a, listen, as someone who's a specialist in this, he's just a bad take factory. He just churns <laughs> his, it's like an assembly line. <laughs> Every time, just 10 out of 10 quality. Like, I've come to your factory and inspected it. It's fantastic quality. How are you doing this, sir? Like, do you, have you seen any of this stuff, Jensen? It's nuts, mate. Some of these interviews are amazing. I, I, I haven't had a chance to, to see them yet. Well, maybe I'll give you a little taste. The classic one that set me on this path where I had to just start consuming all of his interviews because it was like a drug to me how bad they were. Basically, he's replaced Miri from Lol Esports for like bad takes. The one that really opened my eyes was at the end of last year. So just think after Worlds last year, Jensen, where the world was and these players I'm about to mention. Right, Obviously, one of the big moves was FPX signed Khan, who'd been on SKT, right? In an interview after Worlds, the shy described Khan as his ideal top laner. I'm out. <laughs> oh, that's enough for me. That's, you know, that one where, where like Jerry Seinfeld's like, well, that's enough for me. Like, everyone's like, that's enough internet for today. It's like, that's what I felt like at that moment. Like, you know what? I'm too deep on this shit. I need like, I need to go to like a fucking forest, like a nice clearing. I need to meditate, get in tune with the earth again. Cause I need to get this toxic shit out of my mind. Like I can't handle that opinion. That opinion has the, like could like collapse my own brain in on itself. Like that's when I just wake up out of the coma. Like, sorry. <laughs> All right, it's, it's 2014. It's 2014. Alliance hasn't played Kaboom yet. Oh, oh okay. All right, oh, cool. <laughs> Fuck, that was a really weird fever dream. Like, you know, it was wild, yeah. I, I think my favorite one was when he was criticizing some of the players in the semis for like random yes. flanks or plays as if... Uh, no, it's saucy. Self-awareness. <laughs> as if he isn't like the king you, of man. ending sometimes. Hello. <laughs> He's like, oh, I can't figure out like why they would, why they would flank like this. I'm like... What do you think would you do it? <laughs> oh, no, the best part is there was also a conversation he was having with, like, Rookie, where basically he was trying to, like, do that thing where, you know, when you talk to someone else and it's like, you know, it's, it's always me and you and they're the idiots. He was flaming, like, Jackie Love being like, how is it, like, me and you are always playing the right way? And you could tell Rookie was just looking at him the way, like, Bjergsen looked at Doublelift in that playoff series, like, really like <laughs> what, what what we is this it's me and then you're one of the inters as well you fucking bastard like i'd be a worlds right now if it was and then he's like no keep it together we've already scared away jackie love we're gonna keep shy on the tip like, i can't rookie must have the he must be like the. i bet he's like the next border sat for us and the man the patience this man must have is unbelievable isn't it the shit he's been through yeah it's it's pretty top tier 